Okay, so we're going to pick up right where we left off. This is going to be part two of the PVC credit card invite. If you have not watched part one, I highly recommend watching part one before clicking to look at part two. I just brought our JPEG over into the JTRAY template. Again, I will leave the link in the description so that you can align your credit card invite with the J tray. This is for the Canon MX 922 printer. So I have my JPEG within the grid. Um, I did create a little bleed area so that it prints from um, the entire left to right and top and bottom of the PVC card. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and press enter to lock in that design. I'm going to go ahead and then duplicate that because you always want to print two cards in the J tray at a time. So I am going to go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm just going to call this Unicorn 2. And it is lined up under the previous. So I'm just going to do a drag and drop. And again, I am going to just kind of put the design within the grid area so that it prints full page for the card. So we're gonna give it a little bleed room. And at this point, I am finished with the setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna go File, Save As. And I'm gonna find the folder that I want to put these items in. Right now it's in my download, so I'm gonna go and just put it in my pictures folder so that I can find it later. And this is going to be called the Unicorn Credit Card Invite. I'm going to save it as a PSD. That way it keeps all my layers. And from here, we would be ready to print the front of our credit cards. And to do your printing, you would go File, Print, and then give it a moment for it to launch that dialog box. And you want to make sure you have selected your particular printer. Mine is the Canon MX920. And I'm going to go into my print settings. Now, when you go into your print settings, you do want to make sure that you're selecting the J tray and you're choosing to print on the disk recommended. So I'm going to leave it standard. As you can see, I have the disk Dray J already selected. And from my media type, I'm going to make sure I choose the printable disk recommended. So you would go to other papers, printable disk recommended. And you don't have to change anything here. And then I would hit OK. And if I did not have my J tray already aligned into the printer, it will prompt me to load that into the printer. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop here with the um, setup. We will do the printing of the J cards, and then we will also look at printing on the back of those cards as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here because I'm not ready to print just yet and I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my template here until the next video stay tuned for printing on your J cards thank you